Hello ladies and gentlemen, and in the last tutorial I showed you how to create a task inside narrative that lets you follow an NPC. If you get too far away, it will fail, that part was optional, but if you followed them all the way to the destination, the quest would succeed, like so. But what happens if you want to reverse the role? What happens if you want to chase the NPC instead? Many games, such as Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, all have quests where you must chase the NPC and either take them down or kill them. We've already done a kill one before on your screen now, but the chasing one where you could activate a sequence or you just have to simply get close to them, that's different. So in today's tutorial, we're going to look at doing exactly that. So what I currently have is I have my NPC here and when I walk up to it and activate the dialogue, it will begin the dialogue and give us three options. The first one is the tour, which begins the follow quest. And the next one is saying, can we play tag? I'll chase you. And she'll say, sure, if you can catch me before I reach the shops over there. Let me just get into position, ready, go. And then that'll begin the quest, which has nothing on it. If you don't know what tag is, tag is a game where kids will nominate one person to be the tagger. All the other kids will run away and then the tagger must run up to somebody a bit like hide and seek tap that person and say tag you're it and then that it, tagging thing is transferred to the other person then they run in that's all you really do so it's just a little interpretation of that but you could easily modify the story to have chase the thief capture the informant uh, don't let the bad guy get away kind of thing anything you really want i'm going with a simple tag so to start, if you watched my previous tutorial on how to set up the follow quest, this is going to be a lot like it. It's going to be very, very similar. But I'm going to go through it again just in case you don't want to have a follow quest. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a blueprint in our narrative folder which will control the chase scene. So I'm going to right click blueprints and create a blueprint class and I'll just call it blueprint catch NPC controller and I'm going to open it up jump to the event graph and just delete all the methods. The first method I'm going to add is a custom event called run. This run method is one we will call from our narrative events to make it run whenever we specifically want it to rather than it running as soon as it's spawned. Next I'm going to go and get the player pawn and I'm going to cast it to my player just so I can access anything on him I need to and then I'm going to drag from the player and I'm going to cast it to a variable so we have the player pre-stored so we don't need to get it every single time. Next, we need a, a recursive method that will keep continuously calling itself to check the distance between the player and the enemy or the NPC. You could stick this method on the event tick, but then every single time a frame is calculated, the event tick is going to run where you don't need it to calculate that often the distance between the NPC and the player because per frame, they're not going to move that much. So I'm going to set it to be a recursive where it'll just keep calling itself until it finishes. So I'm going to come down here and create a new event and I'm going to call it check distance. From in here, I'm going to drag the player in and I'm going to get his location like so. And then in order to compare the player's location to the NPC's location, we need the NPC. So I'm going to create a new variable here called NPC and it'll be a type of BP NPC because that's what my NPCs are, but make it whatever yours is. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing for the NPC here. Don't worry about setting these the NPC variable yet. We'll set that in narrative later. Now drag from the players node and we're going to get the distance by vector, which is a method already built into Unreal. And then from here, I can drag, put my branch node on and I'm going to connect it up to the check distance. From this distance, I'm going to drag off and say less than. So we can say if the distance between the player and the NPC is less than, and then we need an amount. So I'm going to drag off and just promote this to variable, and I'm going to call it min distance for catch. And this is going to be the minimum distance until we can catch the NPC. If you want this to be event driven, you don't need to do it this way. Instead, just set a Boolean so, or bind to your event dispatcher so you know when the player can press the catch key. If the distance is less than the minimum catch, it means we're successful. So we can drag off from the true method and we can basically complete the quest. So I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to create another event down here called success. And this method is called when we successfully catch the NPC. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get narrative and then I'm going to complete a narrative task. The argument will be the name of the NPC. So I'm going to drag the NPC out and I'm going to get their name, which is a text based variable that I have pre stored on my NPC. But you can put anything you want on here. And the task is a new one we're going to need. So I'm going to jump into my tasks folder and I'm going to right click and I'm going to create 
a new narrative task and I'm going to call it NT catch NPC. And now in the task, I can type catch NPC. So that's the type of ta task it will complete. After this, we need to destroy this controller because we don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to create a new event called end. And when I end it, I'm just going to simply destroy actor here. Creating it as a separate event here means we can call it from multiple places and we only have one place to update if we ever need to do anything else. Then I can call end. I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm just going to give it a comment. Success, the NPC was called. And I'm just going to set it to green so we know it's a success, like so. And now from the true, we can simply drag off and just do success call. So if we get really close to the NPC, it will complete the narrative task there and we can pick up on that afterwards. However, if we haven't got that close to the player, then we don't want to immediately fail it because they might have escaped or they might be too far away. So what I'm going to do instead is just below this check here, I'm going to drag from the NPC here and I'm going to create another distance check on this actor location for the NPC and I'm going to promote the V2 to a variable here. And I'm going to call it NPC destination. So if you've got an NPC running away and they reach their destination before you've caught them, you fail the quest. You might not want this aspect of it to infinitely catch the NPCs, a little bit like Spyro, where you can continuously keep chasing them. The game I'm basing it on, Assassin's Creed, you have a finite distance to catch them before you fail the quest. And I'm going to set this to simply just less than a, a rudiment, just a basic number like 50. So if the NPC reaches their destination and they're 50 units away, which is just about the size of their collider, then we can branch off this and then we can connect this to the false node of the previous node. If it's true that they've reached their destination, then we need to fail it. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to move the end down a little bit. I'm going to create a new event here again called fail NPC escape. And it's going to be almost identical to this one above because in narrative, you don't fail a task or a quest. You simply complete a specific task and then you tell the quest to fail, which I will get onto after we've done this. So the fail the NPC has escaped. The quest that we want to complete here is going to be one I already have called lose NPC. Now this is just a simple narrative task called NT lose NPC. Same properties as we've done before. And that's it. If we complete this task in our quest, we can check that we've completed this task and then fail the quest. So if the NPC has reached their destination, we're going to fail. And this fail will complete the task and then destroy the controller. However, if we haven't reached their destination yet and we haven't caught them, then we need to recheck again. So I'm going to add a delay here. And I'm just going to set it to 0.1. So every tenth of a second, then it's going to call itself again. Now it's important to always have a way out. So as you can see here, they can either succeed or fail the quest and that will destroy the controller. It will stop it checking. Otherwise, you're going to have an infinite loop with the check distance to branch to branch and the delay. And you don't want the infinite loop. It won't break your game. It's just something you don't want. And that's how we check the distance, like so. So I'm going to comment that saying, check if the player has caught the NPC or if the NPC has escaped, like so. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the core concept to this one. It's a bit easier than the follow NPC because we don't have to check as much and there's less, ro less routes it can fail. And like I say, if you don't want it to fail and that you just simply want them to continue on continuously like in Spyro, then you simply just don't add the fail node because then they'll just keep doing whatever you tell them to do. Now that we've done this, we basically need to have an event in narrative to spawn this controller in the world. So when we specifically start the quest, we will spawn this controller. This controller will check the distance between the NPC and the player. And if we get close enough to them, it will take over the quest how it needs to. So I'm going to come back into my folder down here in my event one, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new blueprint and it'll be a type of narrative event here. And I'm going to call it any for narrative event, spawn catch NPC controller, like so. The get the graph display text will simply be spawn catch NPC controller. And the execute event is going to be very, very similar. So I'm going to drag off from the execute event. I'm going to do get all actors of class with tag. The class will be my NPC. The tag will be the name of the NPC we need to catch. So I'm going to drag off from this and I'm going to promote it to a variable called NPC to catch like so. Then from this out actors, I'm just going to simply do a get. You can equally do a for loop. And from the exec up here, I'm going to do a spawn actor from class. The class will be our BP catch NPC controller. The collision handling mode will be always spawn. I'm going to right click the spawn transform and just do a split so it just spawns in a default location. 
but you'll notice we can't set the variables. Now to easily resolve this, you can either drag from the return value and do a set on each individual variable you want to set, but a better way to do it is to come into your variables here for the NPC, tap instance editable and expose on spawn. And I'm gonna do this for each of the variables except the player, because the player is already set in this method. Now if you compile and save and jump back to your event, if you right click and refresh, you will see your variables now appear so you can populate them without having to manually set it. So I'm gonna set my NPC, the min distance for catch, I'm gonna to promote to a variable, and the NPC destination, I'm also going to set to a variable like so. And now simply after we spawn the actor, I'm going to come off of the return value and I'm gonna call our run method. Now, there are two ways we can make the NPC run. You can have a custom event like I have called move NPC that gets the NPC and makes them run to a specified destination or you can add it directly into this event here. Now you might not like the code duplication but it means when we actually start the spawning here you only have to add one event to make it work. You don't have to add an event to spawn the controller then another event to move the NPC. But depending on what you want, you may or may not want that flexibility. For me, I don't need it, so I'm simply gonna come in here. I'm going to move the spawn actor across and I'm gonna promote the NPC to a local variable here. And I'm just gonna call this NPC. And then what that means is after the run node here, I can drag the NPC in and I can call get AI controller. And then from here, I can do move to location and I can connect it all up like so. Then the destination will simply be our NPC destination and the acceptance radius, I'm just going to set to five just so there's, there's some wiggle room. And that's the event done, ladies and gentlemen. So this will simply come in, get the NPC we need, set it to a variable, spawn our catch NPC controller and begin it running. And then it will get the NPC and tell it to run somewhere. And just like I said, you don't need to do this move to location part if you want to keep it as a separate event. So there we go. So now we can start assembling our quest. So I'm going to jump into my quest here. So here's my dialogue where it begins the quest. And I, the first thing I'm going to do is tell it to spawn our NPC, our catch NPC controller event. So spawn catch NPC controller. The NPC to catch will be the name of my NPC and just make sure that your NPC has a tag option named the one you are looking for. If you don't, it won't find it. Next, the minimum distance before we catch them, I'm going to say 150. So we need to be 150 units away from them. And the location they need to get to is roughly over here because that's where it's going to be to the shops. So to get that location, I'm just gonna press Control P I'm going to search for my generic NPC here and I'm going to drag them in just about there. Then I can come to the details, right click the location and copy. I can now delete that NPC out, we don't need it. And I can come in here, right click and paste. There we go. So that's it. So that should successfully spawn the NPC catch controller and start them running towards it, which is exactly what we need. So we need to set the quest up. So I'm going to come off here and we'll do the fail quest first. So the only way we can fail this quest at the moment is if we lose the NPC. So I will get the lose NPC task, which is completed inside the spawn catch them controller. I'm going to say the NPC's name is Velia, and I'm going to hide this one just so it doesn't show. And instead of quest state one, I'm going to drag off instead and just do fail call the quest. The description will be Velia beat you to the shops. There we go. And I'm going to also drag off from the quest start here. And this is where we do the success quest now, which is all if we catch the NPC. And just like above, the NPC will be Velia. I'm going to keep this one unhidden so we can actually know what we have to do. I'm going to delete the description and in the task description, catch Velia before she reaches the shops. And I'm going to delete the quest state. And again, I'm just going to come in and call success like so. You caught Velia. And this can do anything you want, but this is my nice, simple way of doing it. And that really is the core concept of it, ladies and gentlemen. And now that we've completed the check distance function, all I'm going to do in the run method is I'm going to begin the check distance function here. And now if you try it, ladies and gentlemen, we can run up to Velia here. And then we can say, can we play tag? she'll say let me get into position ready go and she'll start going very walking into the shops so if i run up to her and catch her it will say quest succeeded we caught her fantastic but you can see she's still wandering on so i've got a few things we need to fix so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to tell her to you know get a move on so for my npcs i have a specific function here which i can call called called set speed and i'm just going to tick this to running true so she's going to run to the destination 
all this set speed does is if I pass true to it, it will simply up her max walk speed to 500, which is running speed. Otherwise, it'll be 92, which is walking speed. Then if we successfully catch her, then she can just go back and walk back to her post. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to add my move NPC event and I'm going to go and get her destination. Right click copy, then I can simply right click paste and she'll simply walk back to her location. If I fail the quest, I'm going to also do the same event here. But one thing extra you need to do if you fail the quest, depending if you want the quest to be repeatable, if you want it to be repeatable, add a forget quest node here, simply pass in your quest. If you don't, you won't be able to repeat the quest again. Now the eagle-eyed ones of you may have noticed that there is a potential flaw with our quest. And that's if we run directly up to her and we literally touch her and press it, we're already less than the minimum distance to catch. So as soon as she starts running away, the quest has already succeeded and failed. Narrative's just not caught up with it. See, because if we run up close to her, nothing happens. If she runs there, nothing happens because we've already bypassed it before we've been there. If you spawn your NPC a distance away, it's completely fine because then it won't be a problem. So what I'm going to do to resolve this in my instance is I'm going to grab this NPC and I'm going to put her where I want her to begin. So roughly about there. And her rotation is 0, 0, 0. And when the quest begins, on the dialogue, when I want her to move into position, I'm going to add an event here of move NPC, which is the event I showed you just earlier. And on this event, I'm going to set the destination to be the one we've just put in to the NPC. I'm going to make a teleport there as well, just so she's instantly there. And now if we start it again and we start from one specific angle here, she will teleport where she needs to be. And then when she runs, now we haven't got ahead of narrative. So she'll get to the shops and quest failed. She'll start walking back. Well, we lost. Oh, dear. However, we can still run to the other side of the NPC. So if I run here and trigger it, we'll have the same bypassing effect because she'll spawn right next to us. So we also need one to move the player. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to right click create a new blueprint event. I'm going to create a new narrative event called move player. And this one's going to be super simple. I'm going to simply set the display text to move the player. And on the execute event, I'm going to drag from narrative and I'm going to do get owner. This will only work if you spawn narrative on your player. If you spawn it on your player controller, then simply get your player pawn and then go from there. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to set actor, actor location and rotation. I'm going to plug it all in. And then I'm going to drag the new location and promote it to a variable. And I'm going to drag the new rotation and also promote that to a variable like so. And now inside the dialogue where we move the NPC, I can also now move the player like so. If we imagine her being roughly about there we can move the player just back a little bit like so i'll copy the location and the rotation will be zero zero so paste the location in and now the rotation is done and now we also spawn the player which means it's a lot harder to exploit the quest now that we move everybody into position when the quest begins so if i come here which was breaking it just before she'll say can i help you and she'll say play tag she'll say sure catch me before i reach the shops over there let me get into position and then both people will teleport where they need to be you can mask this with a black screen or whatever you need and then I can chase her and I can capture her quest succeeded and she'll walk back fantastic and that ladies and gentlemen is how you can do a catch the NPC quest you can absolutely mask this around any story you have whether it spawns an NPC over here saying look there they are go and fetch them which you simply spawn the NPC when the quest begins and then there is so much you can do to it you can even move out the destination part and add a spline and make her follow a set path or you can add waypoints, or you can even give an array of vectors where she'll continuously keep running around the village to all different places that she wants. It's super customizable, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. If you've got anything else you would like to see, please let me know down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.